Praise be to Jesus Christ. As we begin our class, let us pray. All of you join your hands and close your eyes. Almighty God and Father, thank you for the gift of each one of us. Thank you Lord for the gift of faith that you have bestowed on all of us. We pray Lord to bless each of us that we may able to nature this grace of faith that we have experienced and from you. Bless all of us that we may always to be faithful to you and above all love you forever. Amen. So, dear children, how are you? Are you fine? Are you attending all the catechism class? I am very sure you became very close to Jesus and his love. So today, before we entering into our class, let me ask you a small question. Can you find a person's name in the gospel related to doubt? Oh yes, St. Thomas the Apostle. He is the father of our Christian faith and the father of our church, the Sierra Malabar, right? So, when we think about this great saint, do you like this great saint? I'm sure all of us have a, a special love towards St. Thomas the Apostle because he, ha he is the one who came to India and put the seed of faith in all of us. So now we have heard many, many dialogues. Dialogues of your um, special heroes and heroines. Here we also see in St. Thomas that he also has said few dialogues in the gospel. Can anyone say? Well, I tell you one dialogue. Let us also go and die with him. This is the dialogue when Jesus want to go to Lazarus house. The disciples stopped him not to go. Then the Saint Thomas the Apostle is the only one with a lot of courage and love for Jesus. He said let us also go and die with him. Means for him to live or to die with Jesus. So that was his courage and love towards Jesus. And another um, important dialogue we see after the resurrection of Jesus. Can anyone guess? Yes. My Lord and my God. It is a beautiful prayer uh, and many of us do pray this prayer every day and every time because it is a small prayer and those who are not praying do make it habit to pray at all times this particular prayer my lord and my god so dear children this is the lesson of the 12th lesson that we are going to learn and the um, lesson is about my Lord and my God. In this lesson, we see mainly about Jesus, uh, mainly about the faith that has for Jesus, especially for Saint Thomas the Great Saint. Now, 
as we proceed to this um, uh, class do you have the bible with you children if have all of you take the gospel of saint john chapter 20 verses 19 onwards sister will read all of you will listen and all those who have got the gospel with you please read meditatively with me in the evening of that same day the first day of the week the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were for fear of the Jews Jesus came and stood among them he said to them peace be with you and after saying this he showed them his hands and his side the disciples were filled with joy and seeing the Lord and he said to them again peace be with you and the, as the father sent me so I am sending you after saying this he breathed on them and said receive the Holy Spirit if you forgive anyone's sins they are forgiven if you retain anyone's sins they are retained Thomas called the twin who was one of the twelve was not with them when Jesus came so the other disciples said to him we have seen the Lord but he answered unless I can see the holes that the nails made in his hands and can put my finger into the holes they made and unless I can put my hand into the into his side I refuse to believe eight days later the disciples were in the house again and Thomas was with them the doors were closed but Jesus came in and stood among them peace be with you he said then he spoke to Thomas put your finger here look here are my hands give me your hand put it into my side do not be unbelieving anymore but believe Thomas replied my Lord and my God Jesus said to him you believe because you can see me blessed are those who are not seen and yet to believe so this is the gospel that we are going to reflect and learn today this gospel have divided into three parts or the three parts we can see in this gospel the first thing that we see in this reading that when Jesus was appeared Thomas was not with them the only Thomas was not with them all the disciples could meet or so see Jesus now when we um, think about the situation we here we can find the courage of Saint Thomas he is the only one went out there was no fear for him he had the faith in Jesus that his Lord and Master is with him so with that he was out and when he was not there we see Jesus appearing to his beloved disciples and when he appeared he greeted them saying peace be with you so Jesus after the resurrection he understood the need of peace in all of us and and in the world so the later on we will see the importance of peace now when we come back to Saint Thomas he is the only one was courageous and when he came when he came back to his disciples all the disciples all, all his friends said they have seen the Lord 
that desperate Thomas who loved his master even to death. So with that feeling, Jesus and the Thomas said that unless I see the marks of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hands in his side, I will not believe. Here we may think that Thomas was not believing in Jesus. It was not like that. He believed in Jesus much. He loved his Jesus much. So with that love for the Lord, he declares this um, uh, what words. So now we see um, Jesus that is great desire to see him and he wanted that Jesus at least one time to see Jesus. So dear children, what we can learn from this passage is that whatever we ask with a lot of love and faith, Jesus will assure us or Jesus will grant us. And the second thing we can um, see in this that when Jesus, um, when second time Jesus comes to the to meet Jesus only for the sake of Saint Thomas, and Jesus again comes after eight days to meet his disciples, and again Jesus greeted them with the peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, "Put your finger here and see my hands." Reach out your hand and put it in my sight. Do not doubt, but believe in me. So, seeing the Jesus, Thomas did not went and put his hand in the pierced hands of Jesus. No, he did not do. But with a lot of love for his master and a lot of joy of seeing Jesus, he said that, my Lord and my God. So that was the proclamation of the great faith or the confession of Saint Thomas. And Jesus gave us a message not only to Thomas but also to each one of us. And he said, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet come to believe. So don't forget this um, words of Jesus. So blessed are those who have not seen and yet come to believe. So we need to believe in Jesus and means Jesus is everywhere. Even though we are not able to see with our eyes. We are able to see Jesus with our spirit because he has given us his spirit in order to see Jesus. So dear children, the first part of this class teaches is that we need to have the courage and the, or the daring spirit like Thomas. So we also should have even to Die for Jesus. That much courage we need to have. And the second one we see in the life of uh, St. Thomas. That he had a, a close, a primary uh, relationship with uh, Jesus. His closer uh, closeness towards Jesus cannot be, cannot be broken by anyone. So that much he loved Jesus. And the last we see about the proclamation of uh, him that Jesus is his Lord and God or Jesus is, Jesus is his Master and Lord. So as we have, I hope children did you understand this passage? So now don't doubt Jesus but always believe in him that Jesus is always with us. Now a 
last we have learned about how Thomas, Saint Thomas have experienced Jesus. Now we shall learn how the disciples have experienced Jesus very closely. So now let me ask you a question dear children. Who is a disciple? A disciple is the one who is with the master. A master who is with the disciples. So whatever the master does, the disciple also do the same thing. Means master teaches everything that he knows to his disciples. And that is what we see in the life of Jesus and the, the twelve apostles. Wherever Jesus was, wherever Jesus went, the disciples also went along with the Jesus. We see Jesus who has taken them to the place he was preaching the word of God. And also he had um, given them chance to partake in the miracles and the signs. And also Jesus taught them many parables. So Jesus and above all Jesus explained, explained to them about the kingdom of God. God. Thus, he gave an opportunity to his disciples to realize who was he. Only those who had been with Jesus only can know Jesus. So, we read in the first letter of St. John chapter 1 verses 1. He says, the apostles point out this as the authority for their preaching. So they say, we declare to you what we have heard, what we have seen with the eyes, what we have looked at and what we have touched with our hands concerning the word of life. Means the apostles, what they have heard from Jesus, what, we have, what they have seen from Jesus and they have looked at and touched with the Explain the real touch of Jesus and that is what they, they proclaim to the world. They did not have anything of themselves because that much the Lord Jesus or their master taught them. And that experience was much more than anything else that only to proclaim to the world. So, dear children, when we know, when we know that whenever Jesus appeared to uh, them or it is the great duty of each one of us to proclaim Jesus and for that we need to know him and experience him and we need to proclaim to the world. So dear children, now we come to know whenever Jesus was um, appeared to the disciples, he always wished them with peace be with you. So we know that Jesus himself is the is peace and he has come to the world to bring peace in our hearts. And when we look at this present world, we can see this great gift is missing even in an individual life, even in our families, in our society and the world at large. So Jesus knew the importance of peace everywhere. So today as we learn this uh, particular lesson, two things we need to pray very specially that for the gift of faith and also gift of peace in everyone's heart. So, let us ask the intercession of St. Thomas that we may experience peace and become the peacemaker wherever we are. May the prof profession of our father St. Thomas, the apostles, be ours as well. Let us proclaim Jesus as our Lord and our God. Let us live with Jesus 
and for Jesus and in Jesus. I pray and wish this great, great saint, Saint Thomas, blesses all with a great gift of this faith and love for Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen.